Warren Moon has been named the outstanding offensive player of the game, and that does not come as any surprise. It's always said that if you accomplish something of any magnitude, you don't do it by yourself. Right. You've got other people around you. You have to have a support system to, to help you through all that. Well, I had a great support system with my mom and my, and my sisters. Uh, they were big supporters of me growing up all the way through my career. Uh, my mother, just the way she raised me, kept me on the straight and narrow. So I didn't want to do anything that was going to you know, bring embarrassment or anything to her. You lost your dad at a very early age. You were about seven years old. Right. You were the middle child of, of seven, of seven six girls and he had six sisters yes um and, and Can you imagine my house i, I can't even one imagine. bathroom <laughs> <laughs> so that's when i started to learn some of my strategic abilities of being a quarterback was just trying to make it into the restroom in the morning because if i didn't get there by a certain time i might not see it for a while so that's one of the reasons my mother got me in got me involved in sports at a very young age. Be around other boys, because I was always around girls at the house. So your mom, though, as, as an influence in, in your life, I understand she was Huge. a nurse. Huge. My mother was a nurse. Yeah. Um, and, and I recognized, you know, the type of time and dedication and discipline that, that my mother had to have um, in order to pursue her career. I, that's where I get a lot of my, uh, what I call stubbornness, uh, my, my confidence and my work ethic was from my mother because my mother could have gave up, you know, with, with seven uh, children and um, a husband that passed away, and she could have just maybe lived off the government and and um, and said and threw her hands up and said, I, I can't take this. What my mother did was she went back to school, she re-educated herself, became a private duty nurse. Um, she would go to school at night, take care of us during the day. And then once she got her, de her degree in her nursing jobs, she would work two shifts. She would have hot meals on the table for us every day clean clothes on our back every day. And I watched her do all of this. I watched her make every penny in our family count somewhere. I think that's where I got a lot of my work ethic from because I always felt like I had to outwork other guys in order to, to get to where I wanted to get to. But I also watched how she didn't quit. And I think with everybody trying to tell me that I wasn't good enough along the way at all these different levels, they were wanting to make you quit. And, and I, was, I refused to quit. You persevered and you persisted and you made a determination that no one was going to limit you and you were not going to define yourself by how other people may label you. Right, and, and the unfairness, it was, you know, it was unfair to my mother that her husband passed away it's when I was seven years old. It was unfair that her husband passed away and left her with seven kids. So I knew that too. Yeah. So life is not fair all the time. Yeah. But what do you make of that? You know, are, are you going to lay there and wallow in your sorrow and your pity, or are you going to get up and dust yourself off and, and make something out of yourself like she did? Yeah. Well, I was determined to do that too. And one of my motivations was to take care of her yeah. because she sacrificed so much for us, and especially for me. Playing sports at that time, you need shoes, you need yeah. balls, you need equipment, you know, and things like that. Somehow she was able to find that for me. Somehow she was able to pay those registration fees for me to play these sports and, and travel around and all that. So uh, I felt like I owed that to her, you know, because she sacrificed a lot of her life, her personal life. She never remarried again or anything like that because of her kids. And she, um, she deserved to, to live a, a easier life. And that was one of my motivations to make it. Yeah, and you, you mentioned mentors and, and, and your mentors and your support mechanisms and your um, and your role models were, were a lot of your coaches. Uh, I played um, most of my football, my Pop Warner football career was coached by LA policemen, really? LAPD um, policemen. So we were really drilled uh, the way they were drilled at the yeah. police academy and they, they coached us hard and, and they made sure we did all the right things. So I, I got a really good background as a young boy growing up. Uh, as to what was right and what was wrong, to go along with the way my mother raised me as well, to uh, make sure she kept me in those right, positive environments. Because I, I grew up in South Central Los Angeles, where a lot of gangs and and all that was going on, and I could have easily gone that direction, just like a lot of my buddies ended up going that direction. Probably more talented guys in my neighborhood than myself, but not as focused and driven as I was. And that's one of the reasons why I got out of there, and they they're still there today, and some of them aren't with us anymore.